OnePlus 6 and let me show you how to accomplish activating this device so let me show you how to set up this phone how to configure the following device at the very beginning let's start by using the welcome panel here you should find your desired language as you can see here you've got the access to list of available languages in my case let me choose English let's choose the region in my case let me use United States all right, here you can also change the vision settings, for example, the font size. You can also here use emergency to make some emergency calls if you need something. If not, let's simply go back and here let's tap start. So here you have to agree to terms and conditions. So let me tap agree. You have to decide that you would like to use the experience program. In my case, let me choose no thanks and let me tap no thanks to system stability. Here let me also tap no thanks to push notification in my case. Here you can connect your device to mobile network by inserting the SIM card, but you can also activate your device without it, without the SIM card. So let me tap skip, you can also do it later in settings. Now it's time to connect your device to a Wi-Fi. It's also not necessary, you can bypass this step by choosing skip option, but it's always a good idea to have some internet access. So let me connect my device to my network, the phone is checking for updates. So let's just simply wait. All right, here you can copy apps and data. So let me do it. Or you can also tap don't copy data to have a fresh start. So let me have a fresh start in that case, maybe. The phone is checking info again. And here you can sign in into the Google account. So. Let me do it. You may also, of course, bypass this step, but the Google account enables a few interesting features. So let me just simply enter my email. You can also log into Google account by using your phone number, or you can even create the new Google account by tapping create account. That's it. Now the phone is asking for a password. So let me enter the password. If you are ready, let's simply choose next right here. Let me tap agree to the following terms of service and privacy policy. The device is checking info and getting account information. All right, here we've got a couple of Google services. You can enable backup to Google Drive. You can use location service. You can allow scanning, send usage and diagnostic data and use other stuff. In my case, let me tap accept to all of them. Let me skip the face unlock and also let me skip the fingerprint protection. You can set up those things later. So here let me choose also tap no thanks to the following assistant voice match. You can pay faster with Google Play. You can just here add your payment method or you can tap skip and do it later in settings. And here you can also set up some really important things such as another email account, font size and wallpaper, but you may also do it later in settings. For now you can choose no thanks and use the default configuration. Here we've got some screen of gestures, let me tap next without any of them, tap next to screen calibration and next to the font size. That's it. So this is the most simple way to activate your device. Now you can use the home screen, basically you can use the whole your device, everything should work properly. So thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel, leave thumbs up under the video.